Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> oh, gosh, excuse me. Oh, I'm off to a fantastic start today, my word. Um, hello, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> um, welcome back to the Forever Lock Challenge. Uh, We're here for some more uh, fun, exciting adventures through the Unova region in Pokemon Black 2. Um, hey, Laura, how's it going? Good to see you. Um... But yeah, so we're we're here. We're ready. Uh, I've had a I've had a you know a, a sort of pseudo pseudo day off, I suppose you could say. Uh, and uh, I'm I'm ready to jump back in. I'm really excited. Hey, Casper. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> funny story. I felt really awkward yesterday. Um, so I I, I mentioned that I had to go to a funeral, um, which uh, incidentally went went fine. I mean it it went about as well as you'd expect a funeral to go. Um, but, so I was a little bit, I was a little bit of a frustrated Frida, uh, because I, I was led to believe that the funeral was going to be, uh, pretty, pretty, like, all-encompassing of the day, like, it was going to take most of the day. <laughs> well, I wound up getting home at, like, 10.45-ish in the morning. <laughs> so, like, essentially I could have just, I could have streamed, but I would have just streamed, like, at 11 or whatever. <laughs> Instead of instead of ten, so it would have been like a little bit later of a stream than normal. But like, it, like point is, I got back with like, and I would have like been well within like stream time. So it's just like, grr, why didn't I just uh, if I'd known? If I'd known, I, I definitely would have just streamed yesterday. Uh, so I was just like, dang it, <laughs> why did it? Why did it have to work out this way? Um, <clears throat> but in any case, I since I had already like I'd already made like a couple of announcements telling people there wasn't gonna be a stream, so like I didn't wanna. I didn't want to just spring it on people, you know what I mean? So, um, in any case, that all aside, uh, let's let's jump in. I did a little bit of grinding. Uh, not, I didn't go too crazy with the grinding this time because I wanted to keep it like at least remotely challenging. Um, while we're while we're taking on this next gym. Um, so yeah, we have um, we have a team of level 22s. Um, uh, the grinding went so oh, the gr grinding in Black 2 is so nice. I always forget until like I'm actually playing the game how nice it is to grind, especially when I have the lucky egg, which I do. But yeah, like come with the lucky egg combined with the fact that I can refight that breeder trainer on Route Four, um, training is oh, it's just so it's so quick and easy. <laughs> it's so quick and easy in this game. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. But uh, yeah, so just a refresher because it's been a day or so um, since we played. We've got we've got good old Neo Geo, our eventual Luxray here with Bite, Spark, Charge, and Thunderbolt. Uh, we've got Pebbles, who is just a Rog and Rolla, with Mud Slap, Rock Blast, Iron Defense, and Headbutt. We've got Bunsen, uh, the Baneri, with Quick Attack, Return, Frustration, and Endure. Uh, we have Starburst, the eventual Floatzel, with Pursuit, Water Gun, Swift, and Return. Uh, we have Aaron, the Riolu, uh, back once again. <laughs> I believe this is our third Aaron. Um, with Quick Attack, Copycat. Uh, Copycat is so cool. Uh, Drain Punch and Force Palm. That's actually like one of my favorite moves. I think Copycat is a really fun... It's it's fun. It's not it, exactly practical, but it's just like fun in like, concept, especially on like a Lucario. Um, I, I may have mentioned this before, but um, when I first played Black 2, I used a Lucario named Rogue. That's where I got that nickname from. Um, I used one named Rogue, and I would my, one of my favorite things to do, just like from from like a flavor standpoint, not because it was like a good strategy. But I just did it because I really liked how it felt like to think about in universe. Um, was uh, a <laughs> it was um, using having so like in a double battle, right? I have my my flying Pokemon on the team use fly, and then I have. Lucario use copycat and so then Lucario would also use fly because copycat just copies whatever move was used last um, so <laughs> but I always liked the head cannon that whatever Pokemon I had used fly when Lucario used fly it would grow that Pokemon's wings out of its back so like if you know you have like a braviary that uses fly then Lucario uses fly and it just grows like big braviary ring or, or wings, excuse me, uh, out of its back. I'm just like, ooh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry to go off on a tangent there. Just every time I think about Copycat and and like, re especially on like a Riolu or a, a Lucario, I'm just like, e I remember that. That was fun. <laughs> anyway, uh, we have Prince, Prince, who is who is a lovely a lovely Servine now. 
uh, with uh, Leaf Tornado, Leech Seed, a Fine Whip, and Wrap. So yes, very, very good. Uh, on, on the note of Prince, though, uh, if, for those who, who may have missed it, uh, Casper made us a lovely drawing of, of a Snivy, Prince Snivy, with um, with a Floatzel bodyguard, um, and I love or uh, with a Buizel bodyguard rather, and it's, it's it's adorable. I keep like going back to like look at it. I, for, I didn't I for, think I forgot to mention it yesterday, and I totally meant to or not yesterday, but the last time we streamed, and it totally skipped my mind uh, that you did a really good job on that, Casper. It looks so good. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, so there we go. There's our team. Everyone's looking pretty, pretty nasty, if I do say myself. Uh, and yeah, we're just gonna jump into <clears throat> say so myself. There we go. Nailed it. Uh, anyways, yeah, we're gonna jump into the gym. That's uh, that is our next big objective is to snag ourselves the third gym badge of the Unova region. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's see how it's going. How are how is everyone in chat doing? I would love to I would love to hear how you guys are this morning. Um, let's let's rock out with Neo Geo first. I think that makes sense. I think that that makes plenty of sense. Fight this guy. What do you think? This Pokemon gym, how should I say, isn't it full of outrageous and mysterious charms? I, I guess. I guess if you're into that. Casper says they're doing great. Wonderful. I'm glad to hear that, Casper. Are you... I was... I Sorry, my, my brain is all sorts of, um... Confuzzled about, like, what days are what. Are you streaming today, Casper? Rem please, please do remind me. Because I would, I would like to... I would like to actually be able to attend for any amount of, like, decent time today. Because I have been so stacked with things to do that I just haven't been able to stay in stay in and hang out for a while like like I have been so you are streaming today wonderful well I will I will be there and I will actually try and like maintain a presence for once because <laughs> uh, I am I am really bad at at a uh, date date keeping or time keeping I guess you could would say would make more sense uh, Laura says had a long day I still I'm still catching up with the college days I missed oh I see I see I see well Best of luck with all of your college endeavors, Laura. I believe in you. Oh god, this Sawaddle though is actually kind of giving me the business. Okay, finish it off, Neo Geo. There we go. Hey, Dapper Kirby's here. Uh, hello. Uh, for the question of the day, probably the Vanillex line. I love the ice cream boys. <laughs> Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, today's uh, today's question of the day um, for everyone else is uh, let me let me pull it up so I can actually read it verbatim. Um, what Gen Five Pokemon do you think is underappreciated? Um, I feel like this is a pretty um, uh, like a, a a question that I can ask with confidence, just because like I feel like there is a lot of Gen Five Pokemon that get dunked on, especially hard. Um, so yeah, like <laughs> what what. What, what's one you hear like everyone's just like oh I hate this Pokemon like it's this is one of the reasons that Pokemon's bad now or whatever <laughs> um, yeah like what, what Gen 5 Pokemon do you think gets a bad rap I for one uh, cast my vote for probably Garboder the Garboder line uh, Trubbish is adorable I, I'll, I could I, I will fight you I will fight you to defend Trubbish because uh, I think it's so so stinking cute uh, we gotta switch to someone else Prince is not gonna cut it here um Oh, but wait, but also grass. Man, these sea waddles are really actually kind of like a problem. Um, and like, don't get me wrong, Garboder is not my favorite Pokemon by any means. Um, let me go out to let me go out to Aaron. That sounds like a good plan. Um, Garboder is not my favorite Pokemon by any means, but like, it's super duper harmless to me. Like, it does not bother me even a little bit. It's just like. It, it's like what would you what do you expect? It's just like a garbagey poison monster. <laughs> it's like who cares? Um, so yeah, yeah, that's that, that's my take on it. Uh, Laura says all uh, my boyfriend also thinks that Trevish is adorable. Uh, he is correct. <laughs> He's quite correct. I love Trevish. Uh, I watched the the like Pokemon Black and White like the anime. Um, like just that part of like the Gen Five anime is the black and white arc, if you will. Um, 
And uh, yeah, no, there, there's a tr there's an episode about Trubbish in there, and th the voice that he has is so freaking adorable, and it like oh, it just kills me. It just kills me how adorable it is. Uh, uh Casper, Casper says Trubbish is great. To be to be frank, I mean, yeah, no, that's what I think so too. Uh, Daft Kerb says Trubbish is super cute. Garboder gives me the heebie-jeebies. I mean, I get it. He's like, but he's supposed to, right? Like, he's supposed to be like disturbing looking. So like, people are like, oh, that Pokemon looks bad. It's just like, I mean, he's he's garbage. He's supposed to look bad. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's maybe that's a hot take. But I like. I think Garboder is fine. I think Garboder is fine. Like I said, not my favorite. He's just fine. Um. But yeah, I, I agree with Dapper Kirby. I think that the the Vanillix line definitely gets a bad rap because they're actually like kind of fun. Um, uh, Casper says for question of the day, I really like Arkin. Uh, yeah, Arkin's good. Arkin and Archeops are great. I love them. I love them. I mean, if we're if we're gonna if we're gonna talk about like some other Pokemon that like I just feel like need more love, Audino is a really good Gen Five Pokemon. Just so you guys know. I, I have a, 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 a something of an appreciation for Audino, but it's a secret. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody that I like Audino. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. It's a secret. Okay, let me heal up Neo Geo. Uh, Dabcrip says, I see the appeal, to be frank. Uh, it's just sad that he looks like he's screaming in pain. Oh, you mean like, like, uh, like Garboder? Yeah, he does look like he's kind of going, ah! Or like, you know, what have you. Uh, uh, I don't like it. I don't like the, I don't like the cocoon hatching. That's, that's uncomfortable. You know what would probably make him look better is if he had like an, like an O face. Like he was going like, ooh. <laughs> that would probably be funny. It's a combi. Got just the thing for that. Give it the fat Thunderbolt, Neo Geo. Yeah, no, I, I love Gen 5. I really do. Like, there's not, there's not, honestly, the only Pokemon in all of Gen 5 that I am kind of just like, you guys probably could have done better is probably Basculin. <laughs> Basculin's like the only one where I'm like, eh. Alright. But like, that, I feel like that actually has less to do with like, what it actually is, and more to do with the fact that like, not only is it kind of bland but also it's like kind of hard to get because you can't even get you don't get a super you don't get a, a fishing rod until the post game a black and white so it's just like what like why'd you even bother you know what i mean <laughs> yeah it's like what we find with the fishing rod but like if you're gonna wait that long to even give us the fishing rod in the first place why don't you just not add fishing to the game you know what i mean like just because it's a tradition doesn't mean it has to be there so i don't know and, and then, I mean, there, there's that interview, too, where, like, they straight up said, like, the, the creators of the Gen 5 Pokemon straight up said that Basculin only exists because they needed a fish Pokemon. <laughs> it's just, like, oof. Um, uh, Kirby says, uh, Gen 5's fish are all kind of lame, like Alomomola, Basculin, and Frillish. See, I like Alomomola and Frillish well enough. I think that those are, those are fine, although I, I continue to... I continue to be upset that Aloma Mola is not related to Love Disc in any way because, like, come on, look at him. Um, but no, I, I actually like Frillish. Frillish is a great Pokemon. Uh, Basculin is just boring. It, it just doesn't do anything. It, it doesn't evolve. It doesn't have. Um, it doesn't have like particularly good stats. It doesn't have like there's nothing super notable about Basculin. They tried to like give it this like oh it has different forms gimmick, but like. The forms are just aesthetic. They don't actually do anything from like a mechanical standpoint, which is just boring. It's just boring. A, a different form for the sake of a different form is is not entertaining to me. It's it's not even like male or female. Like at least with Frillish, right? Like Frillish has like the male form and the female form, um, and you know like looks different different accordingly, which makes sense like from like a flavor standpoint. Uh, but then like Basculin is just you know red stripe or blue stripe for no reason. I think they're like, they're exclusives too, where it's like, yeah, like a different form for like that sort of thing. Laura, yeah, exactly, Laura. It's, it's like Gen 5 Shellos, but worse. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Because yeah, like Shellos and Gastrodon's different forms also don't do anything, and I've, I've always thought that that's kind of lame. 
it's like only in it's only interesting in like in, it just in like a, the like oh okay like different the you know, Pokemon look different depending on where they live but like I feel like that's like not well established until you get to like regional variants you know what I mean like regional variants like handle that sort of like mentality well but uh, it, like the different like forms don't in my opinion especially uh, Basculin where I think I'm, again I'm pretty sure it's like game exclusive like which one is uh which one is available which is dumb <laughs> it's quite dumb uh, anyways uh, let's use Starburst you thought you could get through here think again or or so you thought I'm just blocking your way rude very rude. Harlequin Gary has got the Siwaddle. Oh man, I, this, these Siwaddles are not like my friends, are they? <laughs> they are kind of giving me some trouble here with my team. I just don't have a whole lot that I can deal with them with. I really don't. Let's go to Aaron. Alright, um, I don't have any particularly good moves to do against Zawaddle either. Kind of unfortunate. Oh well, we're, we're gonna make it work. Make it work. I was thinking about that actually, Laura. I was thinking about trying to copycat Bug Bite. If it uses it, I'm, I'm kind of just waiting for it to, to see it use it, but it hasn't yet. <laughs> yeah, at least it would be... That's neutral, right? Or is that super effective? I guess that would be super effective. Bug doesn't resist itself, right? I guess it doesn't. Homebee, okay. We got that. Yeah, it would be super effective. Yay, you right, Elora. You right. Here we go, it's Pebbles. Give it the rock blast, girl. I had uh, I had one of those one of those nights uh, last night that was uh, riddled with very surreal dreams. I can't remember them very well, but I I remember waking up several times and just being like, "What is going on in my head right now?" One of those one of those kind of nights. Did not get the best sleep. I won't I won't lie. Just as a result of all that, but I'm hanging in there. I got I got my coffee as per usual. Yep, and then, yeah, sturdy, that makes sense. Sturdy makes sense. Alright, and give it the swift. Faint attack, okay. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Oh, it's a cr critical hit. That adds up. Uh, Dapper Kirby says you should snuggle under the blankie like so waddle. Aww, that's so cute. That's <laughs> so cute. Well, I mean, I do like the idea that Sawaddle also snuggles under the blankie. Uh, I think that's actually part of Lee Vanny's Pokedex entry, is that it says that it likes to make blankets for all of its baby Sawaddle, which is really freaking adorable. <laughs> it's, like, really cute. Hey, what's, where does this hole go to? Ooh. <laughs> okay, we're over here now. Cool. <laughs> um, Hold on. I want to go heal real quick. I think I do. I think I want to go heal real quick. Because things are looking a little bit sketchy. Oh wait, am I going... Did I already fight these guys? So confused. Wait, hold on. Okay, no, I think I did fight these guys. Okay, yeah, let me let me run back to the to the Pokemon Center real quick. Make sure that I'm like nice and... Nice and squared away here. Uh, and hopefully we'll be alright. Hopefully, with any luck, we'll be alright. Might pick up some potions too. I did. I did get some uh, soda pops that I was using while I was grinding, um, but I could probably use some potions as well. Seems like a good good plan. Take like 15 of those, please. Thank you. How are we doing on Pokeballs? Actually, do we have great balls? We don't have any great balls. We have 15 Pokeballs. Let's get like five five great balls, just for like later. 
Uh, sadly, we already we already completely wasted our Route 4 encounter, which is a huge bummer because there's a lot of really good Pokemon on Route 4. Um, but once once we're done with Berg here, we can move along and we can go grab a like uh, Relic Castle or not not Relic Castle um, Desert Resort encounter. I don't I think that Relic Castle is blocked off, so I don't think we can get anything in there. In uh, at least not yet. Eventually, we will be able to. Okay, well, that's pointless. Okay, I did already fight that guy. We go into this one. Do you guys like, uh, do you guys like this gym better, or do you like the honey, the honeycomb, uh, one from Black and White? I'm curious, which one, which one do you prefer? Okay, and then, yeah, let's fight, fight this guy. Laura says, I like this one. Fair enough. I will I will admit that the uh, this one makes more sense for Berg, being that his like main Pokemon is Levani, a Pokemon that makes things out of silk. Um, but I, I don't know, I kinda like the aesthetic of uh, of the honey honeycomb one better personally. <laughs> Daft Kirby says, I like the puzzle here more, waste less time. Yeah, I suppose I suppose so. It's a little more streamlined. You don't like going ba boing boing on the on the honey, Dapper Kirby? Aren't you, aren't you even a cool guy? Wild Loon is coming out. Okay, we gotta be a little careful with that one. We gotta be a little bit careful with that one. Let's go out to Bunsen. Bunsen can handle the job. Uh, Dapper Kirby says I miss the color of the old one a bit. Yeah, it's just I don't know. It's aesthetically pleasing. The the all white room is a little bit uncanny. At least to me. Uh, get him, Bunsen. <laughs> you don't like being covered in honey? Wink, wink. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. Nice. Berg makes me sticky. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and sidestep that. <laughs> it's very silly. Uh, yeah, no, I, I also like the, uh, in the, in the honey, in the honey gym, his, um, all of his art is, like, stuck up on the walls with honey. That's, I don't know, it's really cute to me for some reason. I like it. I like his gimmick. I like that he's just an artist who, like, sometimes, like, gets really bad artist block, and he has to wander around for a bit. It is amusing to me. And I gotta get the friendship up on uh, on Bunsen because this is uh, not doing a lot of damage. Oh, with your protect, Grr, Swadloon, giving me trouble. All right, get out of here. Very good. Beautiful. Let me let me heal on up. What does, uh, does someone want to take a look at the leader decks for me? What, what does, uh, Berg lead with? Does he lead with, like, a Swadloon or whatever? If he does, that is kind of a problem. Uh, Dev Curve says, given how tough these, uh, Swaddle and Swadloons are for you, Berg's Levani might be kind of scary. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't have anything, it's weird, because I usually have something, at least something, that's super effective against it, but, like, this time I just don't. <laughs> I just straight up don't. Uh, I just kind of have to make it happen somehow. It's actually, yeah, it's a little intimidating. I won't lie. I won't lie. I feel like does he? I don't think he has a Swadloon, does he? Maybe he, no. He maybe he does in Black Toon White too, because I can't imagine that they give him the Whirlipede with uh, with um. Oh no, he does have Whirlipede. Does he, Laura? Really? Hold on, I'll, I'll take a peek myself. Uh, Berg, Black 2, White 2, he does, yeah, no, he doesn't have the, he doesn't have the Whirlipede in this one. No, he, he leads with Swadloon, uh, he does Swadloon, Dwebble, and Leave Annie, and Black 2, White 2. He has Whirlipede in Black and White, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, yeah, so, okay, so Swadloon is kind of a problem. Yeah, like, this is, this is gonna be a tough one, you guys. This is gonna actually be a tough one. Hopefully we come out all right. 
Hopefully we do. Um, hmm. I don't even really have, like, any good, like, stall like, whittle him down options, to be honest. I don't have any particularly good moves to use against him. Uh, I got strength, I guess. Um, doesn't... Unfortunately, I can't teach it to my only normal type. That feels bad. Um... Hmm. This could be a problem. This could be a problem. What does, uh, do we have... Hold on. Do you still have Tackle? No, you have Roar now. Um, I don't know if I need Roar. I'll get rid of Roar for Strength. Just because Strength, or Strength is, like, just really strong. 80 power is really good. Um, yeah, alright. Well, uh, Neo Geo hopefully can take this home for us somehow. Uh, this is going to be a tough one, you guys. This is going to actually be a pretty tough one, I think. Good work back there in the sewers. My Bug-type Pokemon have been scurrying with excitement about getting to battle you. I'd say my Bug-type Pokemon are pretty great. Come on, let me brag a little. Dwebble's round little eyes are cute. It's resilient and reliable. My ace is Levani. It's really the best. I think it's so sweet how it makes clothes for other Pokemon out of leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all of my Pokemon. Well, now let's get right to it. Aw, uh, not not even not even gonna talk about uh, Swadloon. Feels bad. All right, Leaderberg. Let's go. Hopefully we come out on top here, because this is this is a little bit spooky. We're we're kind of low on level. We're um, yeah, this is this is this is this is a little scared. <laughs> Swadloon equals middle child confirmed. Says Dapper Kirby. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All right, get him, Neo Geo. Man, it did like nothing. It did like nothing. Grr. I know it resists the electric move, but I wonder how much Thunderbolt would do. Let's find out. Oh, like nothing. Okay. Alright, we're gonna bite it. Just run the gauntlet, I guess, here. Oh, not quite. God, it was so close though. I and mean, you know it's you know he's gonna heal now, so I guess I'll do the same. Rats. Alright, well let's go again, shall we? He does have a mild advantage with his uh his having reduced my speed, but we're also doing more more damage on average to him, I think. Ooh, he misses the Razor Leaf. That feels good. Okay. Alright, I think I need to heal just to be safe here. I don't know if, I don't know if he'll do the double potion or not. We shall see. Ugh. See, that, that is exactly why I healed. Holy cow. Um, okay, hold up. Let's, um, heal again. This is spooky. This is really spooky. Holy cow. Alright, cool. We're good. Uh, Laura says, fun fact, the trainer will always heal before you heal. Uh, that makes sense. I, I, I think I have noticed that over the years. Absolutely. Okay, so Swadloon goes down. That was quite the quite the exchange, though, to make that happen. My goodness. Okay, Dwebble is coming out. Um, let's see, what wants to deal with Dwebble? Uh, Starburst probably can. We got the super effective water. Alright, give it the water gun. Probably won't kill. Yeah, I had a feeling it wouldn't. And I think it, I think it has uh, sturdy anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. But that's okay. All right, give it another water gun. Okay, Smackdown. We can take that. Very good, very good. Starburst. All 
Wonderful. Haley Vanny is coming out. Definitely gonna have to switch on this one. Um, see, this is scary though, because like, the only Pokemon I think could even like maybe deal with it is Neo Geo, right? Unless, can Aaron maybe? We have the Eviolite on Aaron, so at least there's that. I wonder, I wonder if we could actually copycat the bug bite. That'd be kind of funny. I'll try it. I'll try it. We've got the Eviolite, so like we could probably take at least a hit. All right, let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can make some magic happen. Ooh, god, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Can we paralyze you? Dang it! Nope. Oh man, this is rough. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, you're right, Devagar. We no way Rio out speeds. We have we have learned that for certain. Um, I need a. Oh, this is rough. I actually need a clean switch somehow. And I also need to heal Neo Geo. Oh, this is rough. Um, can Bunsen take a hit? I was really hoping for. I was really hoping for that. That Force Palm would paralyze. Oh god, yeah, Bunsen can't take a hit either. Oh no. Um, Prince can, but it's it's almost definitely gonna go for a Bug move after that, right? <laughs> I may have put myself into a very unfortunate situation here. Let me try. I'm, I am playing with fire here. I am absolutely playing with fire. It's a crit. <laughs> I had a funny feeling. I had a funny feeling that was about to happen. Oh no, Bunsen! No. Ah, uh, sad. Very sad. Gosh darn it. All right. Well, we are up to 109. 109, and the first uh, first loss of Black Two, I think. Um, I'm hoping that the start we can make Prince hang in there somehow, Dapper Kirby. I really am. Um, I do not want to lose another starter. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll pull I'll pull Bunsen out the layout. Feels bad. All right, well, let's um, we we'll, we'll get the clean switch at least into Neo Geo, and we can heal. I feel like Neo Geo is like the only one who can maybe take the hit. Pebbles can take one hit with Sturdy, yes, but I don't. I mean, that doesn't really help me very much right now. Let me heal Neo Geo. Hopefully, we can we can take a uh, a Razor Leaf. Okay. Oh man, that's too much damage. That's too much stinking damage. Um, I actually don't really know what to do about this, you guys. I really don't. Is this is this the end? <laughs> I don't I don't know what to do. I guess I could try and stall out Razor Leaf, but yeah, I feel like that might be my only option at this point. The thing that sucks is it has a high crit chance. So like, I'm literally playing with fire. That's I mean, that's exactly what happened to Bunsen, is that <laughs> I, uh, I tried to stall it out, and, uh, it got, it got the crit, which I'm, I'm literally, it's, it's only a matter of time before it lands the crit on Neo Geo at this point. It'd be nice if it could miss. I know it has low, low, uh, accuracy. See, there's the crit. Ooh, but we live in. We live in on the crit. That's good. That's very good. Oh, wait, hold on. Does I think the the soda pop does more, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, way to hang in there, though, Neo Geo. Ooh, cut. Wait, are you out? Are you out of um? I think it might be out of like, Razor Leaf. Hold on, let me let me super potion. If it goes for cut again, I think we can assume that it's out of Razor Leaf. Nope, it still adds more. It just went for cut for like no reason. That's very weird. Why in the world would you have done that? <laughs> That's very strange. I feel like Breath of the Wild right now. I'm just like drinking all of the medicine as I run through a volcano. <laughs> it 
Stop it. <laughs> Stop razor leaving me. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Stop it. <laughs> I don't- I haven't been counting. I don't know how many Razor Leaf it's used. I know! It's peak gameplay! It's peak gameplay, Dapper Kirby! <laughs> this is how the pros do it. <laughs> oh boy. Stop Razor Leafing me! It's gotta be close, right? It's gotta be close to out of Razor Leafs by this point. It has spammed it, like, save for that one cut. It has spammed Razor Leaf the whole match. Come on. You've got to, you've got to run out eventually. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so many Razor Leafs. If I can wear it out, then I, I honestly, I could probably send it. Yeah, I, I, I'm being very wary of the crits, Laura, absolutely. It's got to be close to out by now, right? I feel like I've used, like, a billion potions. You missed. Good. Let's go for... Let's go for, um... Let's go for Thunderbolt. I th no, I'm pretty sure it has... I'm pretty sure it has 15. I'm pretty sure. I can look. I have Razor Leaf, so... Hold on. Let me check. Oh, no. I don't have Razor Leaf. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, no. I'm pretty sure it's 15. Uh, I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt and hope for Paralysis. Oh, there's the crit. But we live in. Oh no, it is 25. Oops. That, I mean, now we know. Now we know what, what the problem was. Uh, this is looking rough then, because I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know if we can actually adequately stall it out. <laughs> this is not good. No, stop Razor leaving me. Oh no. Oh no. Drink the soda pop, Neo Geo. <laughs> oh man. That's too many razor leaves. That's too many. It's just too many razor leaves. No, not the berry. We want the potion. We go we go the full gauntlet of potions. Yeah, Baneri died to the crit. <laughs> We tried to do the same strategy with Veneri, but it died to the crit. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay, this is like my last potion, so if it's not out of freaking Razor Leaf at this point, then we're just kind of stuck. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes, there's nothing I can do. I just have to go. No worries, no worries, Laura. I know, I know, how, I know how it be. Get him, Neo Geo. I have nothing else I can do. Ugh, man. This is rough. <laughs> I could try going out to Prince, I guess. That would eat, eat a Razor Leaf for sure. It's probably going to go for a bug move, though, after that. Oh, Struggle Bug? Oh, no! <laughs> did, it just run, did it just run out of freaking Razor Leafs? There's no way it wouldn't have gone for another Razor Leaf, right? Can I, can I successfully switch into Pebbles here? If he goes for Razor Leaf, I'll just I'll just sturdy anyways. Hold up. Are you out now? String shot. Okay. Hold up, we might be in good shape here, you guys. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my goodness gracious, this is ridiculous. Go for rock blast. Oh you do still have razor leaf. What are you doing, Berg? What's with the random string shot? Oh you're stupid Barry, okay. Come on, five. Let's see it. Five. Ooh. <gasps> we did it! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, yeah, I know it's the, the Laura says it's the first time I've seen someone stalling to Berg. <laughs> well, our team is, like, not really set up to deal with them. We don't have a flying Pokemon, a fire Pokemon. Like, our entire team is weak to either grass or bug. <laughs> <laughs> so, or not bug, but like still, we're we, we're we're very weak to grass and and junk. Uh, so yeah, it was just it was hard, but we made it happen. <laughs> An adequate use of potions, I feel. 
<laughs> yeah, Pebbles! Pebbles! Pebbles the stone! Pebbles the stone comes through. Beautiful. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, that was that was excellent. Laura says, that's rare in a black 2, white 2 Nuzlocke. I know, right? It's crazy. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, honestly, you won with the least bad casualties. Yeah, I mean, I'm sad about Bunsen, but yeah, like, if of, of the team members, it would it would definitely be the one that I was, like, the least, um, the least bothered by, like, losing. So, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, Pebbles deserves the bro badge. Absolutely, Laura. Absolutely he does. Or she does, excuse me. Yeah, no, that was excellent. That was a, <laughs> that was a, a really, uh, triumphant win, I feel. Ha. <laughs> Jaffa Kirby says, Pebbles rocks. Ha 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 ha. He's so funny. <laughs> Woohoo, we got the insect badge. Let's go. Let me plop that onto the layout real quick. Wabam. Excellent. <laughs> Don't take her for granted. <laughs> oh, Daffer Kirby, why? Why must you be this way? <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we got the TM for Struggle Bug. I'm actually kind of surprised that we managed to like survive that one. I was I was starting to resign myself to the idea that we were actually going to lose, <laughs> and I was like, no, not this early. It feels bad. Um, but yeah, uh, we gotta go. We gotta go say goodbye to our good friend Bunsen. So let's go deal with that real fast and figure out who we're adding to the team. <laughs> Dapper Kirby, stop! <laughs> Are these puns horrible? <laughs> Laura says, "Imagine wiping to Berg." I mean, you say you say that as a joke, as I actually almost wiped to Berg. So, <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't say, I can't say say a whole lot about that, Laura. <laughs> like, look at look at my team. It's like savaged right now. It's absolutely savaged. I am. I'm, I'm really happy our Luxio hung in there, though. That's really nice. <laughs> it's really, really nice that uh, that Neo Geo hung hung on there. Very, very good. All right. Well, it was it was real. It was real, but um, Bunsen. But we'll uh, we'll see you in the in the hereafter. Sniff, sniff. At least there's no grass gym. Yes, it, uh, it's very true. No, no grass gym to worry about. Thankfully. Goodbye, Bunsen. We'll miss you. All right, so we need to figure out who we're adding to the team. Um, we have successfully uh, defeated Berg, which means that our max Pokemon level we can add is looks like 30. Uh, Elisa's Zipstrika is level 30. Uh, so we are good to add something up to level 30. It has to be a Pokemon that's capable of evolving, though. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's true. B uh, Dapper Kirby says big rip for buying items for Elisa. I mean, at least there's a lot of trainers to fight between here and there. Um, so, like, at least we could, like, actually... I mean, I, it sucks to the idea that I might have to, but I might have to, like, grind a little bit for money. <laughs> um, maybe I could sell some stuff, too, but uh, it's hard to say. But, yeah, so we need to add a Pokemon that's capable of evolving that is no higher than level 30. Um, oh, I wish I could add the Audino, but Audino's fully evolved. Um, yeah, let's take a look at what we got here. Um, so we could add, we could add Duchess. Uh, we cannot add you. We could add Isabel. Cannot add you. Cannot add you. We could add Patty. We cannot add you. Uh, we could add Bella. I think Bella's just a Chingling, if I remember right. Um, Wally is just a Ralt, so probably not that. A little too, a little too frail. Um, you're a Staraptor, you're a Bronzong. Eddie is a Lickitung. We could add the Lickitung Dapper Kirby. We absolutely could. Um, that's not a horrible option, to be honest. Just, I mean, we've already, we learned from our Silver playthrough how bulky a Lickitung can be. So that's not a bad option at all. And it's, it's, it's in level range too. It's level 20, so we could add it no problem. Um, Umbreon, Unknown. Um, that's a... Lenora, I think, is actually a Herdier, if I remember right. Take a look. Just to double check, I'm curious. Our Herdier, yeah, yeah, her, uh, Lenora is a Herdier, so we could add Herdier. Not not a terrible option. Probably not our best option either, though. Um, Daffy is, we could add Daffy, I think that would, that would work. Um, Dustine? What is, what is, what is Dustine? 
Minchino. Oh man, I can never I can never spell Minchino without like looking. Okay, it's two C's. That's what always throws me. Minchino. Yeah, Dustin is a Minchino, not a Sinchino, so we could add that. Probably won't though. Um, Toadette could add. Uh, you're a Caracosta. Can't add you. Uh, we could add Bambi. It's actually not terrible. Grass and well, no, we already have a grass type. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> we have Stella. Uh, I think Stella is is Stella a Bulldor? Oh man, like I we haven't interacted with some of these Pokemon for so long that I just don't remember a lot of them. Nope, Stella is a Gigalith. So nope, can't do that. Um, Chara. Uh, Vi Viberly. Oh, Viberly. Wait, are you a Palpitoad? That's actually not a horrible option. We don't have ground or water. If you're a Palpitoad, I think you're Nick. Yeah, yeah, Viberly is a Palpitoad, and it's at the max level, too. Oh, no, I do have water. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right, Laura. <laughs> Thank you. I, I can, I can, um, I can, I can, I can see. I can see. I, I was, I was testing you guys. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, it would be another grass weakness, I suppose. I suppose, but it's also like the max level too is like got, got me really tempted. Uh, stud muffin is too strong. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I. I mean, the only the the two best options here are definitely either the Palpitoad or the Lickitung. But as you guys point out, even though Viberly is already level thirty, um, it does have the Grass weakness, which is yet another Grass weakness, and we still don't have any Grass counters, so. That doesn't particularly help us. Uh, Lickitung doesn't give us any super huge benefits, but it, it's also super bulky, so it's still not a bad option. Um, yeah, all right. Let's add the Lickitung. I think that that makes sense. We will we will add Eddie to the squad. Let me add that to slot two. And there we go. We have a Lickitung on the team. <laughs> Daft Kirby says he benefits. His benefit is having a pink cutie on your team. <laughs> yes, yes. Eddie is a good boy. Eddie is a good boy. And I, I, I really do like. I was so surprised how well that that last Lickitung we used worked out for us. Like that was actually like a really good Pokemon addition. Um. So yeah, definitely, definitely something to use. Oh, he can learn Strength. You're right. We get a nice powerful stab move on him. Absolutely. Absolutely, we can do that. We'll teach you Strength. And we can get rid of, um, let's see. Knockoff's not very good in Gen 5. I'll get rid of Knockoff. Well, coverage, though? I can get rid of Return. I have the TM for Return. So if I want Return back, I can get it later. Um, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so I guess at this point we can... Honestly, Eddie's not even that far behind. <laughs> Maybe I could just put him into rotation and start using the Lucky Egg. Not a horrible idea. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. We'll put Eddie out front, try and get get it some, um, some XP. Give it the Lucky Egg. And, uh, yeah, I guess, I guess from here we just try and proceed. Um, there's definitely no way that we're going to be able to take on Elisa today without getting some substantial experience, um, beforehand. Um, should we take on the Battle Company? I never did actually fight them while I was grinding. I just used the Breeder. <laughs> Um, we could fight the Battle Company, I guess. There's, like, decent items to get in here, right? Right? I think? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, we need to get some- we need to get experience anyways. I don't really- I don't need this experience. I already have one, but we'll take it. We will take it. Yeah, why not? Let's fight the Battle Company. Gives us stuff to do. Get Eddie- Eddie caught up on- on levels will be nice. All right. Wait, did you do not fight? Okay, cool. <laughs> I just had to talk to him. Got it. All right, Growlithe. Growlithe, we can take that. 
We can take that. Ooh, look at that chonk. Oh my god. Look at that fat lick -a tongue Oh my god. He's a big boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. <laughs> look how... I don't know. Does he look particularly chunky? In Gen 5... I don't think I've ever seen his Gen 5 sprite. Look at him. He's a big old boy. <laughs> he is thick -a tongue Absolutely. Holy cow. <laughs> he's, um... He's got some girth. He's got some girth on that... On that, uh... On that tummy. <laughs> he does! Yeah, no, he looks... I've never seen... I have never seen Gen 5 lick -a tongue before. Holy cow. That is, like... Look, like, from the back of his tail to the front of his tummy. That's, like... That's, like, some mass right there. Like, holy cow. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a thick thick lick of tongue. Absolutely. Wow, I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Girth for the worth. Top tier tongue. Absolutely, this is excellent. Why can't Pokemon be this fat anymore? I really like it. I really like chunky Pokemon. I really, really do. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Hey, quick balls, I'll take them. Hello? <laughs> the tongue can do wonder. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I miss all the, the chunky 90s Pokemon, uh, Dapper Kirby. Like, uh, Pokemon are just better when they're fat. Or like, or just like, thick. They're not even necessarily fat, I just like them when they're round. Like, they're like, round and just like, pudgy and fun. I don't know, it makes them better to me. I don't like it when they're all like, thin and lanky and weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Laura. <laughs> Chonk chunky Pokemon are best Pokemon. Change my mind. Yeah, Eddie's Eddie's doing some damage too. Very good. Very very good. I want the shiny ball on the ground? Dapper Kirby says, well, I'm sure y'all can guess what I think of fat round Pokemon. Gee, I wonder, Dapper Kirby. <laughs> Badoo? Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize you could get Badoo in this game. Alright, give it the strength, Eddie. Eddie has much strength. Oh, that's obnoxious. Okay. Okay. So, I, I am curious. What the? What are? What are our stats looking like on Eddie here? I do wonder. Uh, okay. So, like, we have a neutral ability, or um, nature rather. Um, unfortunate, but alright. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, we, we weirdly have a higher special attack, which is awkward, but alright. Does, does Lickitung even get any, like, decent special moves? I don't... I don't know. Okay, we got guard spec. Um, hmm. I want to go heal. I kind of want to. Uh, is Eddie a permanent Lickitung? Yes. Yes, I, I couldn't have added it to the team if it was if it was the uh, Licky Licky. Uh, yeah, we have uh, we have a Licky Licky named Wi-Fi, I believe. In I think I transferred it to Gen Seven, I think. So we have we have Licky Licky in Gen Seven. I think I caught it in I think I caught it in Gen Two, but because I I made it the Licky Licky, I had to transfer it to a to a generation where it could actually achieve uh, evolution. So it yeah if 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 my logic remembers or if my logic is sound it should be in gen gen seven. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, that's right. Um, paralyze heal. Heal that. And I, we are out of potions, so um, I'm just gonna wing it. I think we'll be okay. Oh, thanks for the. Oh, now we have two scope lenses. Neat. Alright, 
Meryl. We can handle a Meryl, I think. Beam. Okay. God, he really is so big. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I guess it's especially because of the animation, right? He's like doing like the distended tummy thing. You know what I mean? Where you like, you, 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 uh, not suck in your tummy, but like the opposite, where you like intentionally expand your tummy. That's kind of what it looks like he's doing. <laughs> so he just looks extra, extra, extra thickums. I love it. <laughs> uh, I honestly love it. That's great. Fighting Stomp? Ooh, I actually like that. I like Stomp. I like Stomp. Um. Hmm. I get rid of Rap. I'll get rid of Rap. That's fine. Ooh, we get some timer balls. Nice. Okay, so we'll move on up to the next floor after I go heal. After I go heal real fast. Do some speed up, make this a little bit quicker. Uh, Dr. Kirby says, and with that, look at Tongue's rap career sunk into obscurity. <laughs> well, I mean, can you imagine having to try and spit such hot rhymes when you've got a tongue like that? It's hard. It's hard. I mean, I can't blame him for giving up. Like that, that's a, that's a tough challenge, rapping rapping with that much that that much tongue in your mouth. It is it is difficult. <laughs> that's amazing. All right, here we are. I want that ball off the ground over here. Oh man, is that really it? I thought there was more trainers in here. That must be, uh, that must be black and white where they had a, another... I thought there was another floor, but yeah, I guess that's the first game. Alright then. Oh, you are the Pokemon trainer I met at the entrance. You've come this far, that means you must be quite strong. Are you prepared to face the strongest person in this building? Then the time has come to challenge my grandson, the company president. I'll show you just how much this battle company has researched Pokemon and traders. We're going to beat up a child genius. Let's go. He's got an Eevee. Get him. Get him with the strength. Yeah, I like I like Legatung. Legatung was one of my favorites when I was uh, when I was a little kid. Believe it or not, but I am remembering why I like it so much, though. It's so pudgy. It's pudgy and fun. Here's- I have a question for you guys, actually. What do you think- I, I think I've asked Dapper Kirby this before, but I, I'm curious what the rest of you might have to say about it. Um, what do you think Lickitung feels like? Do you think it's, like, scaly or, like, smooth, like, rubbery? Or do you think it's like, does it have like, 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 like fur? Or like, what, what do you guys think? Like, what, what do you think a lick of tongue would actually feel like if you touched it? And I don't, I don't mean on its tongue, obviously. I mean like on its like actual body. <laughs> I'm curious as to what you guys would have to think. Ooh, you think it would be gooey, Laura? Sticky or gooey? Oh, I don't know about, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. The tongue, I imagine, being sticky or gooey, but like the actual, the lick tongue itself? Ugh, gooey lick tongue ew. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's interesting. I never would have, I never would have considered it, it being gooey. Uh, Dapper Kirby says his body and tummy would be firm but smooth, and the tail is fluffy and squishy, but not furry. Okay, I see, I see. See, that, I, I think I think that I can get on board with that, Dapper Kirby. I think so. Although he's like a lizard, right? Is that like the idea is that he's a lizard? So he he might be scaly. He might he might or maybe he'd feel like kind of like a football or like a basketball. But I don't know. For some reason, I imagine him being really soft too. So I, I can't imagine I can't imagine him feeling like as firm as like a as like a football or a basketball. 
But he's a lizard, Dapper Kirby. Dapper Kirby says no way he's scaly, but he's a lizard. So, like, he could very well be scaly. He's a li- I mean, what else would he be? Look at him. I mean, yeah, I like to think he's smooth and squishy, but like, yeah, no, like he's a, he's clearly a lizard, Dapper Kirby. Look at him. He's got a he's got a, a lizard tail. He's got a lizard tongue. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he's based on either, Dapper Kirby, but he looks like a lizard to me. I can, I mean, I can't think of anything else that he would be. So I don't know. I don't know. He looks lizardy to me, though. He looks like a, a lizard with a big tongue. So I I can. I'm not saying that I think he's scaly, I'm just saying that, saying that it's reasonable to assume that he was scaly based on the fact that he's, like, clearly a lizard. <laughs> he just is. It's true. He, he's definitely one of those Pokemon that just sort of is. It's not like, it doesn't seem like it's actually based on anything specific, it's just sort of, like, is. <laughs> oh, hi, Colorus. How's it going? Oh, it's you again. If it's not an inconvenience, may I have a look at your Pokémon? I appreciate your cooperation. Oh, how interesting. Your Lickitung seems to display more self-confidence than others of the same species. Oh, is it because of the big old tummy, Chloris? I bet it's because of the big old tummy. <laughs> he's got the... he's got mad pride in that big tummy. Absolutely. And you're a trainer with merely three badges. Fantastic. I'm not sure how you're doing it, but you're bringing out the power of your Pokémon. <laughs> body confidence, what a chad. Yep, yep, Eddie Eddie has the, ma the mad body confidence, absolutely. <laughs> because he's the thickest, says Laura, absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, excuse me, I'm a scientist, my name is Colrus. The theme of my research is bringing out the power of Pokemon. Bringing out the power of Pokemon, is it possible to bring out their maximum power through the bond they share with their trainers? Or is there some other, different method? I'd like to test my theory by battling with you. Do you find this acceptable? Yes. Either way, I'll be waiting on Route 4. It's just beyond here. Okay, I'll be there shortly. <laughs> you can you can have that that level of confidence, Laura. You just have to be you just have to be like Lickitung. That's that's what I'm saying, is you just have to you just have to embrace your inner Lickitung. I know I know that I try to. I try to embrace the the inner the inner the inner lick licky tongue. Absolutely. Get some get some of these soda pops here real fast. These are these are very helpful. Oh, we actually got a lot of money between like Berg and here. Uh that's pretty good. Get us a little bit of medication to use against Elisa. Beautiful. Okay, um, yeah, this is actually kind of spooky, because we got to fight Colrest next. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, According to Bulbapedia, Lickitung is based on lungless salamanders, which are very sticky, and some Japanese folk monster that licks filthy things in bathhouses. Oh, I have heard of that. That's Yeah, it's like a yokai or whatever. I, I've heard of that one. But, so, like, he, I guess then, I guess if anyone is, like, the mo has like the most weight in their favor it's probably laura's theory that it's sticky then um so well done laura uh laura says the, they have to go now uh thanks for coming and hanging out laura i hope you have a good rest of your day well at the very least uh, it's a uh, i'm glad that our lickitung is now um on par with the rest of the team so yay <laughs> That was that was relatively harmless. Very very good. I have fought this breeder so many times now, but I'm gonna fight her again because I have to. <laughs> Luckily, most most of uh, most of our team didn't have a problem dealing with this breeder at all, so like grinding went super super quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I still, I do still like to think that despite the fact that it is based off of a salamander, that that it would still be like soft and squishy, not not sticky and gooey. <laughs> At least that's what I would hope.
Although, you, I, I think you probably would have to concede, Dapper Kirby, that even if he is soft and squishy, his tummy is probably really, like, gross and damp from his tongue always bouncing into it, yeah? That sounds probably accurate. Yeah. Wait, wait, there's Trubbish here? What? That's weird. <laughs> oh, I couldn't, I couldn't run away from the Trubbish. Okay. That's awkward. Why am I so slow? Okay, let's get out of here then. Uh, Death Kirby says, sounds like you're assuming the moisture level of its tongue. Are we really about to have a debate on how, on how wet Lickitung's tongue is? <laughs> It, I, I mean, if if the Detective Pikachu movie is anything to go by, it's incredibly it's incredibly like gross and like slimy. Um, so I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Let's do some exploring over here in the desert area before we fight Colores. Might as well. Oh, I should turn the I should turn the freaking dowsing machine on too. That is probably a good idea. goes down. Very good. Okay, Herd Ear is coming out. But you can handle it. Oh, I like that he had two Puffos. That's cute. <laughs> he had the Growlithe and he has the Herd Ear because they're both Puffos. Doggy Puffos. I like it. Alright, finish it off, Eddie. Very good, very, very good. Alright, cool. And now we can officially we can officially swap to a different Pokemon. Uh what do we wanna give uh what do we wanna give Eddie here? Do I have anything that's particularly helpful for a for a Lickitung? I don't think so. Yeah, I'll just give it the uh just give it the amulet coin. Give, yeah, give Eddie the look, uh, the amulet coin. Yep. Cool. And then we will swap over to... Let's do Prince next. Give it the lucky egg. Oopsie. We can Elko that for some easy XP. Might as well. Oh. Vine Whip does not Oko. Feels bad. <laughs> Feels bad. Uh, okay, let me uh, let me put the dowsing machine on. I should register that, actually. That's probably a good plan. There we go. Have that on. Ready for us. For some reason, this is, this is the area that I always remember the dowsing machine being really useful, so... Um, okay, we, we can fight these fishermen here real fast as well. Ooh, Mystic Water. I mean, we already have that, but <laughs> still. Let's fight. Let's fight these goons. Psyduck. Easy. Alright, Basculin. We were just talking about you, friend. Alright, beautiful. Prince Hets level 23. Very nice.
All right. Um, let's swap out to... And we're, admittedly, we're getting like to the point in the game where I'm like a little more hesitant to use, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, the Rog and Rolla and the Riolu, just because they're not very, they are not very strong. Um, maybe I should, maybe I should start using the experience share a little more often. Maybe that's not a terrible idea. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe I should. All right, let's go out to let's go out to Starburst. I'll give Starburst the lucky egg, and we'll give Aaron the experience share. That seems like a sound a sound strategy. Give you your miracle seed back. I oh, mean, I wish there was a less cumbersome way to do this. I really do. All Does it help that Gen 5's bag layout is actual garbage? If I can actually, if I can, if I can dunk on Gen 5 for anything, the way that it handles the bag is atrocious. <laughs> it's quite awful. I am not a fan. Oh yeah, and uh, experience share. That's right. Okay, cool. Oh, you know what, though? We should actually give the Eviolite to our Lickitung, huh? That's actually not not bad at all. We can have a nice, a nice, chonky Lickitung. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, One minor nitpick with Gen 5 for me is, the new, is that new TMs aren't put in order by number. It is actually, yeah, kind of triggering. I agree. <laughs> I agree. It is quite obnoxious. I think you can press a button to sort them that way, but still, it just should do it automatically, in my opinion. It's, I mean, I think it's especially appalling that Gen 5's uh, UI is laid out the way it is, considering that the game prior to Black and White is... Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which has the best user interface in the series, in my opinion. It's like actually perfect, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, Heart Gold, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver are very, very good. Like from a from a user a user standpoint. Yeah, let me um take that away from you now. We'll give it to Pebbles. And we're just gonna start doing doing that whole rigmarole. At this point, I think. Well, we'll give uh, Eddie the Eviolite as well. I really do think that'll be a nice combo. Okay, cool. And yeah, at this point, yeah, let's just start getting. What level does um? What level does Weasel evolve? Is it like it's like 26, I think, or is it 24? It'd be really cool if it was 24. I don't think it is, but it'd be it'd be really cool if it was. I need to go heal before we fight Colrus as well. So I'm going to very quickly run back. Run back and heal, and then we'll fight Colrus. Alright, here we go. All healed up. Beautiful. Alright, and then yeah, one other thing I am going to do before we fight Chorus is I am just going to go get a quick refill on the caffeinated coffee beverage. Um, so I will be, oh geez, bro, we're going to fight this lady when we get back, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'll be right back. I'll be right back.
Okay, thank you for waiting. I have returned. Um, I have I have coffee in tow, so let's let's go. We're gonna fight this lady again, but I'll use speed up this time because we already fought her. <laughs> um, but yeah. Anyways, um, where were we? Oh, God, I don't even remember what we were talking about. <laughs> oh, um, what level? Yeah, what level does Weasel evolve? I wonder. To definitely verify that at some point. Go to Prince for this one. Very good. Okay, let me just make sure that we're we're good to go here. Yeah, pebbles, exactly where you want to be. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Let's fight Colrus. I've been waiting for you. What's the matter? Interested in what's behind me? These are not mere rocks, but the Pokemon known as Crustle. Observe, with this device I created to energize Pokemon, I'll. Well then, goodbye, Crustles. <laughs> Those Crustal, were they just lying here, out of energy, with their boulders on their backs? Team Plasma said we should recognize the potential in Pokemon and liberate them from humans. I disagree. Conversely, it should be humans who bring out the hidden potential in Pokemon. Now that I think of it, I never asked your name. Lids, I'll remember that name. Well then, I'll test to see if you're a trainer who can bring out the hidden potential of Pokemon. Let's go, Colrus. Colrus is such a... he's such an interesting character. I, I do kind of wish that he got a little bit more screen time. Because he, he's, he's fun. He's a fun one. Yikes, Magnemite, huh? That is not necessarily something that Starburst wants to deal with, I don't think. I don't think... we don't have a whole lot of great options for that, though, to be honest. Uh, Aaron probably can deal with it at this point. Probably. Thunder Wave. Yikes. Not a fan of that. All right, give it the give it the Force Palm there. Nice. Yeah, that's sturdy. I had a feeling it would. <laughs> nice, we got the paralysis as well. Cool. Give it the quick attack. Oops, super potion. Wah, wah. Okay, well if we can force palm it at this point and get the get what would have been a one hit KO, we should be good to go. Nice. Well done, Aaron. Well done. Bevels hits twenty three, very cool. Learning SmackDown. Ooh, fancy. Very fancy. Uh, Casper says, Chloris's only pursuit is the pursuit of knowledge and science. I know. What a cool guy. <laughs> what a cool guy. And he's willing to work with criminals to make it happen. My word. Um. Hmm. 50 power. Five. Uh, yeah, I guess it's more consistent. Um, alright. Let's get rid of iron defense. I'm never going to use that. Let's be real. I am very unlikely to use iron defense. Uh, Clink is coming out. Uh, man, just not a whole lot that I can fight with, huh? Um, I guess let's just stay in with Eren. Feels weird, but yeah, alright. Give it the drain punch, Eren. Oh no. That did a lot more damage than I was expecting. <laughs> no! Eren! No! We've lost another Riolu. This is our third Riolu. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was not expecting that to kill. <laughs> I mean, I thought it would do damage, but I was not expecting it. You know what it is? You know what it is? Is uh, our, our Riolu has had an Eevee light up till now. I think that that's why I expected us to, to tank that. And then it just didn't. <laughs> oh no. All right. Well, we're officially at 110 deaths. That feels extra bad. <laughs> Jaffer Kirby says, what the heck? I step away for five minutes and the real dies. <laughs> I know. Ugh, grrr. <laughs> oh, man, that feels so bad. All right. Well, uh, all right. 
Uh, goodbye, Aaron. It was real. <laughs> Let me remove it from the layout. Okay, then. Um, man, what do we even deal? How do we even deal with this stupid clink? Um, I guess Starburst? I think it has Thundershock, which is kind of spooky, but I don't think I have any better options here. Give it the water gun. Oh no. No! <laughs> That's too much damage! Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Dapper Kirby. Luxio's Thunderbolt is is neutral damage. Let's go at that. Let's go at the Neo Geo. Man. This is a this is a bit of a rough session, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. This is this is a rough one. <laughs> we were doing we were, I was feeling like so confident um, the last time we were playing. Like when we were playing uh like we fought like Roxy and stuff like that. I was feeling, I was feeling like on top of the world, but like this, this session and uh, like, like everything that's transpired is just making me feel like, oof, like I'm getting like smacked in the face with reality, <laughs> and it does not feel nice. It does not feel very nice. Get out of here, Clink. I should probably write down that I have to record these deaths. So let me do that real quick. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Dapper, Kirby says, Dapper Kirby says, I mean, at least I lost two Garbomons, uh, so we're still good. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, it's sort of a it's sort of a double-edged sword, Dapper Kirby, because when I lose quote-unquote Garbomons, um, it means that I have to use them again in another playthrough. <laughs> it's like, the sooner that I just get, like, the, the bad Pokemon out of the way, the, the more likely it is I'll be able to use good Pokemon later. <laughs> so it's just like, I want to get... I want to get the bad Pokemon out of the way. I don't want to have to use a uh, freaking Riolu for a fourth time now, but I have to. <laughs> when I eventually am able to acquire another Riolu. Um, I don't want to have to use another one, but I probably will have to use another one, and I don't like that. And I'm running I'm running out of uh, ways to spell Aaron at this point. <laughs> I am running out of ways to spell Aaron. <laughs> I guess, I guess you're on to something there, Dapper Kirby. I guess so. Alright, let's figure out what we're adding to the team. Let's figure it out. I Me, mean, I don't think we have any items on Riolu, right? No, okay, cool. Maybe I could I guess I could do A R Y N for for a future Riolu. I'll keep that in mind. Or if it's a girl one, I could do E R Y N. That works, I guess. That works. Alright, um, but yeah. Goodbye, Aaron. Again. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my friend. <laughs> Jaffa Kirby says Air in A I R space I N. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, goodbye, Aaron. Dang it. Gosh darn it. Alright, well, let's figure out who we're adding here. It has to be another Pokemon that's capable of evolution. Uh, we're still locked at level 30 is our highest we can go. Um, I mean, I could add the Palpitoad. As as previously discussed, it would be, you know, a nice, strong Pokemon to add. We would, let's see, how, how is our, our, is our, our weakness to grass is still, like, kind of prevalent, though. And we still don't have a counter to it, either, is the thing. Uh, we don't have anything that counters grass. That's really unfortunate. Um, I mean, Daffy, Daffy's a ducklet. Ducklet wouldn't be terrible. I mean, it'd be really, really allergic. Uh, F Y E is a is a star raptor. I can't add it. Um, yeah. No, let's see. The only things I can add here are Purloin, Patrat, Ralts, uh, Chingling, Ducklet. Fungus, uh, Mincino, Palpitoad, uh, a Deerling, and that's it. <laughs> those are those are the only things I can add. So honestly, like, I think the Palpitoad might still be our best option, unless I just want to add something to the team that just soaks up levels, which I could, I could add Chingling to the team and just have it soak up levels with the EXP share. But like then I have to question if I could if I think that I can I don't know do you guys think that I could make it through the game, 
where I would essentially be relying on Floatzel, Luxray, Superior, and Lickitung. Because ob obviously Rog and Roll is neither here nor there. It's just kind of going to be here because it's our, it's our Pokemon that's capable of evolving twice. But like, do you, do you guys think it would be detrimental for me to just put the Chingling on the team and let it just, you know, do its thing? Or should I add the Palpitoad? Dapper Kirby says that's probably fine. It is probably fine. And get on. And once again, Chingling is another one of those Pokemon that would be really nice to just have out of the way. <laughs> it feels bad. It feels bad because uh, we actually did use that Riolu consistently in the early game. So it feels bad to just add a Pokemon that just sits there. That's why I felt bad about the Happy Knee and Platinum as well. Um, but I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, if it if it if it works, it works, you know. Um. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think I, I think we'll go ahead and do that then. We've got Palpitoad there in the back burner. If anything else happens, at least we have the Palpitoad. Uh, and then you know, if anything happens to our to our fully evolved Mons, we've got so many so many decent options here too. <laughs> like so many decent options. Um. So at least there's that. At least there is that. Um. I'm yeah. We'll add the Chingling. We'll add the Ching. Let me let me verify. I'm gonna double check real fast. If this is actually a Chingling and not a not a Chimico. I'm pretty sure it is though. Yep, Bella Bella is a Chingling. Okay, on to the team it goes. I'm not a fan, but you know, <laughs> we gotta get it out of the way at some point. Ooh, uh, Rock and Roller, you blocking you blocking the Chingling though. Um, hold up, let me. I might do some rearranging here. <laughs> That, I might I might need to make Rog and Roll a little bit smaller on this. <laughs> it's uh or at least like lower it slightly. Uh, let's see. Let's put Rog and Roll into slot. How about slot six? Rog and Roll into slot six. We'll put Buizel. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, we'll put Buizel into slot uh, five. There we go. There we go. That looks better. That looks much better. Okay, cool. So let's uh, let's go. Let's go. Um. Oh, I should probably heal too. And yeah, I guess we're just gonna give Bella the experience share for a good long while. Um, obvi obviously, I'm not gonna like grind it up or anything at this point, but almost definitely between sessions today, I'll I'll do a, a, a pinch of grinding to get it caught up. Um, luckily, I have the uh, like like I said, the, the those breeder trainers plus the lucky egg really does expedite that process quite significantly. So that is probably what I'm going to do. Is Rock and Roll still holding the experience share? Uh, yes. Okay, Bella, enjoy your experience share. Oh, gosh dang it, I have two of them now, so it gets locked up here. Grrr. Actually kind of frustrating. I might I might toss one of them. <laughs> I never made it like a hard rule, but I tr I tr I'm trying to play it where I don't just like like I uh, use multiples of the same item. I, I For some reason that feels like dirty to me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll add it to the rules like kind of retroactively. I can only use... Uh, one of any particular held item at a time. Seems reasonable to me. Alright, cool. Let's, um, oh, well, we're gonna have to fight this breeder again. <laughs> um, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I'll, I'll use speed up because this breeder is, uh, Officially on my last nerve. Get out of here. Meryl. Go out to Prince. What level is Elisa? I'm curious. What level is Elisa? Oh, that's right. Level 30 I already. I knew that. <laughs> I knew that. I literally said that just a moment ago. Alright, 
Um, what's what's in the, all these houses? I don't even remember. It's been so long. It's been so long since I got this far in um, Black Two, or not not that I got this far in Black Two and White Two. Just that like I don't like do like a whole lot of exploring in Black Two, or I haven't in the past. I suppose I should say. Is there anything any like good items to be had? I don't know. Does anyone remember? <laughs> Does anyone remember Black 2 and White 2? And what you can actually get in this little area? Because I have no idea. Oh, there's there's a there's a shiny ball on the ground over there. I want that. Oh, hi. Hello. Policeman Nigel? Eagle? I, I, I'm not sure how you even pronounce it. I've never heard that name before. Alright, um. Give it the water gun there, Starburst. Oh, that, that did like nothing. Holy cow. Holy cow. Does return do good damage yet? <laughs> it's not stab, so probably not. Yeah, it's, it's like nothing. Oh my god. Okay, can you chill? Can you like chill though? <laughs> Is it just me or did this game get really hard all of a sudden? Goodness gracious. We're, we're faster, so we're fine, but oh my god. <laughs> nice, Bella hit 16. Good. My word. Yeah, this is this is this is dangerous. I guess maybe maybe in the past I've just like taken the opportunity to like grind at this point, because holy cow, I'm like I feel like I'm taking crazy, crazy hits. Um uh, it's kind of insane. Kind of actually insane. Let me heal up. We need to get some better moves on Starburst. Man, what I wouldn't give to have Surf on Starburst right now. God, I would love that. <laughs> cool, Red Shard, I'll take it. I will take it. Let's get pick up this shiny ball on the ground real fast. I feel like this is a TM, isn't it? Yeah, Dig, nice. I will take Dig. I will absolutely take Dig. I am a fan. There's a oh there's a, oh I see it's like up there okay cool um is this a is this a required double battle no it's not a required double battle I can make it a double battle I think but I don't want it to be a double battle so let's uh, go this ain't no place for kids like you rude I ain't a kid I'm a I'm a I'm a cool person I am a cool adult roughneck Joey. Alright, fight the Vinipede. Give it the water gun. Man, we really- I really wish we had better moves, oh my goodness. Uh, do we do we get like Aqua Jet soon? That would be really nice. I feel like that comes pretty early in the moveset for, for Weasel. Ah, oh, poison. Dang it. That's annoying. Alright, let's switch. Um, Eddie? Eddie can probably deal with this, I think. Ooh, that's spooky. I didn't even think about Pursuit. Yikes. Ah, poison point. Oh my goodness gracious. That's so annoying. Is there like a... Is there someone who heals us in this immediate area? I feel like there's gotta be, right? There is in black and white, but I don't remember where it would be um, in, in black 2. I hope there is, so I don't have to go all the way back to the stinking Pokemon Center. I really, really hope that that's the case. Bella hit 17, learning uproar. We don't, we don't need that. We've, we've learned our lesson with uproar, just that, you know, don't use it. <laughs> 
All right, let me let me go see if there's somewhere I can heal up here real fast, cause uh, we're we're in rough shape at the moment. We are in rough shape. There's got to there's got to be a healer somewhere around here, Maybe, like one of these houses or something. Do any of you heal? Wow, wow. Did, they, did it really just say that? Hi, welcome. Well, there's nothing here. Wow, such such flavorful dialogue, Game Freak. Holy cow. Aren't you, aren't you guys amazing? Oh cool, citrus berries. Thanks, pal. Now that's, <laughs> that's like actually kind of like upsetting. <laughs> they made their the dialogue literally pointless. I don't care if it's a gag, that's upsetting. <laughs> That's like a game game design or game design like uh like taboo. Oh hello. Uh that was lick a tongue. Cool, I got a poke toy. But I just I just want someone to heal me. You looked like you were gonna heal me. Do you heal me? Probably not. Nope, okay. Dang, I was really hoping. I was really hoping that there would there would be some someone to heal me around here, but evidently not. Oh god, hello. Oh dear. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to run back to Castelia again. That's super super obnoxious. Oh, I wish I had one of those. I wish I had one of those those Rio Lus. Let me let me go have some Geo. Yeah, I'm gonna have to run back to Castelia, because I don't know where there's I don't know if there's anywhere to heal over here. And this this poison's gonna be a problem. What level does uh does Luxio evolve? Like thirty? I wanna say it's thirty. That'll be cool. That'll be cool when we get there. I would love to have Luxray right about now. Sounds excellent. Pebbles can probably fight a Growla, I think. I wanna say. Give it the Rock Blast. Flame Wheel. Oh yeah, we're good. Well done, Pebbles. Well then, all right, cool. Yeah, let's. I'm sorry to say it, but I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll even hop on the bike, I guess, and we'll go back and heal again. Frustrating, but what you gonna do? Oh, I'm probably gonna have to fight that breeder again. God dang it! That's. I love that you can refight the trainer for sure, but like, oh my god, that's really obnoxious that I have to freaking <laughs> that I have to freaking fight her every single time. Just when I'm just trying to get by. Uh, whatever. We've got speed up, so it's fine. I wish I wish it was like you can fight her if you just go talk to her or something like that. That would be very convenient. But oh well. What is one to do, I suppose? Bike our booties back over to the Pokemon Center. I wish there was, honestly, I wish it was kind of like Lumio City where there was multiple Pokemon Centers. Um, the fact that the only one in, in all of Castelia City is, is down here by the docks is really frustrating. <laughs> Definitely something I can give Gen 6 praise for, which is not, not, there's not a whole lot of opportunities where I get to do that, so, you know. Hop back on my bike. Okay. So now I hope that we're in good shape. We'll fight you again. <laughs> like I said, helpful in most scenarios, but right now, kind of annoying. At least Prince is going to get a level up out of it. Ooh, learning Mega Drain. Uh... I think it sucks about that is that we're not a special attacker um, because of our stupid nature. But at the same time, Vine Whip has been doing like 
nothing because it's very, very weak. Mega Drain. Mega Drain also doesn't really do a whole lot, but it does heal us, which is nice. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I'll do it. We'll get a better grass move, a physical grass move eventually. Maybe, uh, do we get like Power Whip or something like that? That'd be nice. That'd be kind of nice. Been a while since I used a superior, I gotta say, so I do not fully recall what its moveset looks like. All right, we'll put Eddie out front. Who's, does someone have the Lucky Egg right now? Was it Starburst? Sure is. Okay, uh, let me let me switch to Starburst then, just so we can get that last level up. Uh, Casper says there is there is an NPC that can heal your Pokemon on that route. She's in a house on the far east. Oops, that's late. <laughs> uh, that yeah, that, I mean that would have been good to know before I had to run all the way back to Castelia, but it's all good. It's all good. Oh, this is it. This house is it. The, is it the final house that I didn't get to? Oh my god, it totally is. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh my god, I literally checked every house except for this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. Like, literally, we got right here. And I turned back. <laughs> That's really funny, Casper. <laughs> I love it. Alright, here we are. Desert Resort. Let's grab ourselves a Desert Resort encounter today, shall we? Let's uh, let's get it on this side though. Let's let's do it on on this side of the tracks. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure Relic Castle is fully blocked off, right? I don't think I don't think that there's any way for us to actually get in there. I think it's completely covered in sand now. Oh, maybe maybe not. I see stairs. <laughs> but yeah, maybe we maybe we can get a Relic Castle encounter then. That'd be nice. A woo bat. Give a give it the pursuit there, Starburst. Knew we knew we held on to that for a reason. Ooh, heart stamp. Okay, woo bat goes down. Starburst will get the level up. Very, very good. I mean, ooh, finally Aqua Jet. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. I've been waiting. I have been waiting. I'm gonna get rid of Return for now because I don't think our friendship has been is particularly high enough for that to really have much value. Bella hits 19. Very good. Okay, Yamask is coming out. Uh, we could stay in. We could stay in. Give it another pursuit. Soak up XP with that lucky egg too. Ooh, wow, you ate that up. Holy cow. Nightshade? Okay, I'm a little spooked. I'm a little spooked. We, uh, we switch at this point. Let's go out to Neo Geo. Absolutely our oh shit button Pokemon. Okay, and, and just so we're clear, we still have not found anything in the wild in the desert resort, but we're going to try for Relic Castle first. I think that that sounds like a sound strategy. Give it the bite. Hopefully finish it off. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Your mask goes down. No problem. All right. Can we get a relic castle encounter? I really did think it was blocked off, but there's stairs. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Relic castle. All right, let's do it. Uh, wait, who do I want to have out front? Do I have anything with like uh, status? I don't think I do. I don't, I don't, I don't think I do. I have, I'm gonna put Eddie out front for the supersonic. And we should probably heal Starburst while we're at it. At least a little bit. Beautiful. Alright, yeah, let's see what we can get in here. Alright, survey says... Your mask. Um, we had, I know we definitely had a Cofagrigus at one point, um, but I do, I do believe that it, it passed. 
Yeah, we had yeah we had Yami. Oh, that's such a good name for a Kafagrigus. Dang it! <laughs> I wish I wish that we still had that name available. Yeah, we don't have Yamask or Kafagrigus, so this is fully on the table um, for either either one of those. Um, give it the supersonic there, Eddie. And knockoff probably won't kill because it's really really low power, <laughs> so we can weaken it. Not even close. Not even close. We can do some do some damage. Oh, are you gonna disable my knockoff? Feels bad. Well, all right then. I can't hit you, so I guess I'll just start throwing Pokeballs at you. <laughs> oh, I forgot we had Quick Balls. I should use the. I should definitely use a Quick Ball against uh against the 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 Desert Resort encounter. Hey, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We got ourselves uh, a Yamat. Well, well, we'll make it the Kafagrigus, um, just because Kafagrigus is so cool. I love me a Kafagrigus. Um, well, we, the last one's name was Yami. Um, so naturally, I'll have to I'll have to name this one in a similar vein for those who get the reference. Uh, this is a Tem. This is a Tem. There we go. Beautiful. Um, so that's squared away. Um, let's get our desert resort encounter because we did not actually get it. Uh, let's grab whatever this is. Heart scale, nice. I will take it. And yeah, let's pop up into this sand and see what we can find. Desert resort encounter is Darumaka. Um, I don't. Do we have Darumaka? I don't. I think we do. I don't think we have that line at all. Yeah, we're 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 quite short on the on the Gen 5 mons just because we didn't really make a whole lot of encounters in our black playthrough. And it was cut short pretty early, um, comparatively. Because uh yeah, we don't have Darmanitan or Darumaka, neither one of them. So Yeah, let's uh let's throw a quick ball at it, just because we have them. Might as well. Yeah, we good. Nice. Nice. We got the Darumaka in the quick ball. Very nice. Um, let's see. Let's make this... What do we want to make this? Tarmanitan or Darumaka? Um... Let's, let's make it Darumaka. Yeah, let's make it Darumaka. Um, does anyone have any good Darumaka names? I'm actually kind of drawing a blank here. Um... What what is a good name for a Darumaka? Not Darmanitan, just Darumaka. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Um let's go with I'm gonna call her Bailey. I don't know why, but I'm going with it. <laughs> this is Bailey, the Darumaka. Cool. Darumaka recorded. Um, alright, so uh, there's plenty of trainers to fight here in the Desert Resort, which is definitely something that we're gonna wanna do before we take on Elisa. Um, so we have all that stuff with Joint Avenue to do as well. I guess I might as well go get to. Uh, it's. I think it's pretty evident that we're not going to be fighting Elisa today. We're like, right, we're pretty short on time as it is. Um, why don't we get to Nimbasa though? We'll get to Nimbasa. We'll do like the Joint Avenue stuff and all that. Um, ooh, is Andrew cute? Um, we'll we'll get through all the Joint Avenue stuff. Get to Nimbasa and then. Oh my God, magnitude eight. Can you chill? I was trying to run away. We'll finish the Joint Avenue stuff, get to Nimbasa, and then that's where we'll call it for stream, I think. I think that makes sense. Get out of here, Sandshrew. Stop being annoying. Oh, did I really just miss? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Just get out of here, Sandshrew. You're causing me troubles, buddy. This nurse. Oh, actually, maybe I should fight this nurse real fast just to heal. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's fight the nurse. Heal me. 
after we fight. Of course. Of course, after we fight. Cleffa. Give it the strength. Ooh, the cute charm, of course. Of course the cute charm triggers. That feels extra, extra bad. And the sing. Alright then. Well, Eddie, why don't you just come on back? Just because you're you're not in a good position here. Well, actually, hold up. <laughs> you want to play games? I will let you die to the desert. I will let this Cleffa die to the desert. I am not afraid. I am not afraid to let that happen. Uh, we might as well try and wake you up, too. Well, oh, no. No, we'll just use strength. Why not? Wake up, Eddie. Alright, one more turn. <laughs> Alright, Cleffa goes down to the desert. Nice. Very nice. Okay, let's get you all fixed up. Just leave it to me. Thank you for the quick heal. I appreciate it. Alright, cool. So, yeah. We will, um... <clears throat> let's quickly run run over. We're gonna just do Joint Avenue stuff real quick. Just get it knocked out. And then, uh, so, yeah, so tomorrow, um... When we come back at, at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, of course, um... We are going to have a good amount of encounters to snag. But I will, I will save all of them for tomorrow, I think. I think we're at a pretty reasonable stopping point, all things considered. Hmm, what should I do? I can't possibly manage everything. Hello there! Welcome to Join Avenue. We don't have anything yet, as you can see, so it's just an avenue at this point. Oh, but where are my matters? Allow me to introduce myself. I am the owner of Joint Avenue. My dream is to go around the world building avenues that bustle with lots of people. The problem is I have no one. I can't trust it. I can I can trust to manage the avenue. Something just struck me. You seem to be a trader traveling around, aren't you? You naturally meet people from all over the region, don't you? I know it seems sudden, but will you manage the avenue for me? If only it was that easy to just get like a nice, nice snug uh, management position. Just You just walk up to a businessman. He just gives it to you. Thank you so much. Okay, tell me what kind of person you are. <laughs> Cash says, oh yeah, this mall. Yeah, no, it's interesting, right? Like, it, it's actually a pretty cool mechanic if it had been used properly. <laughs> it's kind of like Festival Plaza before Festival Plaza. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, what is my favorite phrase? Uh, oh, what what is my favorite phrase? Uh... Uh, what is my favorite phrase? Oh my gosh. Um. <laughs> uh. Grrr. <laughs> Grrr. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do I say when I'm impressed? Um. Uh, what do I say when I'm impressed? Oh my goodness, this is so. This is I'm I'm on the spot here. Oh my goodness. Um, when I'm when I'm impressed, I say. Hot dog. Guys, <laughs> you guys seen that movie? It's a good movie. It's a Wonderful Life. I love that film. Hot dog. Grr, hot dog. <laughs> I knew it. You are the one. <laughs> I am the chosen one. I am the chosen one for my choice in, in, in excitement. Excitement-based words. Sir, it's almost time for your next appointment. Oh, I almost forgot. My assistants. You heard me. I must leave now. So pl please support our newest manager. Yes, sir. Please take care of yourself. Ah, excellent. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. How should we address you? And yeah, then I get to I get to have a title. Nice. Uh, wait, can I do the my queen thing again? <gasps> I think I can. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> uh, 
I don't know if it'll have it'll have the same effect, but it might. <laughs> My queen, now that you are the one to manage the development of the avenue, please turn it on. It's wonderful. In into a wonderful attraction where many people visit. Uh, Casper says, from trainer to movie star to corporate leader. I know. I'm really moving up in the world. I'm really moving up in the world. It's pretty great. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm not actually going to do anything with Joint Avenue. Let's just go. <laughs> but it was a fun distraction, though. It was a very fun distraction. I, I, I will say that, like, when you actually, like, engage with Joint Avenue, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, it's a really cool addition, but it's just, uh, you know, it's not really, it's not really applicable in, like, a Nuzlocke, so, you know, shrug. But yeah, here we are in Nimbasa City. Um, we, we have accomplished, uh, our, our set out goals for the day. We're, we're right about, we're a little bit short, um, as far as, as far as stream time goes, but I think we're at a pretty reasonable stopping point, so this is probably where I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up for the day. Um... We will be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. As far as I know, there's nothing that will prevent that from happening. Uh, so yeah, we should be should be just normal, normal schedule tomorrow. So 10 a.m. PST tomorrow. We'll be back for some more Pokemon Black 2. Uh, it'll be fun times all around. Uh, looking forward to it. We'll get a whole bunch of encounters. I should be nice and like caught up grinding wise. I'll probably clear out. I'll probably clear out Desert Resorts trainers as well. Um, and so that'll just be all be you know squared away, uh, and then yeah we can jump into taking on Elisa, uh, as well as getting a whole bunch of encounters in the neighboring root areas, uh, and it'll be it'll be fun times. Um, so yeah, I will see everybody tomorrow. Um, take care, everyone. Bye bye.